Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm working on the left side, driver's side, rear brakes, and I'm just connecting the brake lines to the hard lines I ran through the tunnel. So I already have had these uh, stainless lines, that's important. And then these are the stock lines that go from the flex line over to the caliper. Um, these aren't gonna work, these are not the stock calipers. So I need to make some new hard lines work out all the clips and uh, just get it all ready to drive. To make things easier to see what I'm doing, I'm going to remove the rotor and the caliper. These are just finger tight or not too tight. I'm working on this side because as Chris pointed out, uh, this caliper was on the, the passenger side and that's not correct. These bleeder nipples have to be pointing up. And I opted for some Allen head flathead screws to go here, as opposed to the flathead screwdriver ones. I think that's just gonna be easier to, to manage. Plus I couldn't find the screwdriver type at the hardware store. But I think this is better. All the e-brake hardware has been done on this side. And I did get the correct uh, cotter pin and castellated nut on the uh, clamping mechanism. So this side is looking really nice. Back of these calipers look like this. There's a fitting here right in the center. I'm just gonna bolt this back up so I can see where the lines go. I also wanted to do this to make sure that the caliper bolts are long enough. Looks like I can go another five millimeters longer and not hit the rotor. This is one of those jobs that would have been easier to do with the lift, but this should only take me a second. And by the time I got the lift out, I would have spent probably, it's about 45 minutes to get the 356 moved outside and so forth. So I'm just getting this clip put in real quick and we'll just move on. It's the brake line from the little tab that hangs down from the seat pans, which I had to make myself. And then the brake line runs through to the trailing arm and gets that clip I just hammered in. That might have been hard to see. But that is the part that flexes when the trailing arm flexes. And then the other part that goes from that terminal to the one I showed you on the back of the caliper is a hard line. Just using this old brake line to sort of act as a template. I think if I put a little jog in just like that, it should be pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just um, need to extend, instead of bending down like this, I just need to go about another three quarters of an inch with another terminal like this, and it should go right in. So let's go to the bench.
And these bends are a little sharper, but they should be in the right place. Now I just need to mark where I want to cut it and then I'll reflare this. I did this side just so hopefully if I cut it in the middle, I can make two parts. Okay, a slight change of plans on this shape of the bends. So what happened is I was able to get it in the flex line, which is rigidly mounted to the trailing arm, and then to the caliper, which is rigidly mounted to the trailing arm also. And what ended up happening is it was hard to get these started. And then when they did, it just the, it ended up being too short. And I think the problem is it's, it's just not enough material to be able to stretch it. Cause you gotta kind of shrink it to fit it inside both cups. And then when you tighten it down, you gotta stretch it. So this is just a test bend, but this is what I now have in mind. So when I tighten both ends on the, you know, both sides are fixed. So when I tighten them down, it'll stretch it sort of into that, not quite 45 degree angle, but it's gonna allow it to stretch. The length is pretty critical on this little short piece. So I'm gonna cut it, put it in the car, make sure it fits well, and then I will flare it. Okay, that's it. I was much happier with the second rendition of this. Um, this big jog in here I think is important so that you're not just stretching the tube. You're allowing it to seat on both ends and then this is like an expansion area where it can just adjust itself. So really hard to see where it attaches to the caliper here. But there's the flex line right back there. And I have the proper clips in place so everything is complete all the way out to the caliper on this one. I'm going to pull that off one more time and duplicate it for the passenger side. But that's another thing checked off the list. That was the hard brake lines rear. Still 32 left to go.